guys here at Boone down south. It's the end of the season, and what's behind me is my Whitetail Institute secret spot. I put in uh, three locations of this secret spot this year, and I'm going to kind of show you the review of putting it in and, and uh, going forth through the whole season. The season's over, it's January in South Carolina now. The deer are still feeding out here, but I'm going to show you a lot of, a lot of uh, some video footage of different plots, some still pics of the deer I have eating out of these plots. First time I've used this, it's not an endorsement by the way. And by the way, uh, feel free to like and subscribe if you would, it helps me out. Secret spot worked out really well, and I'm going to show you the reviews, uh, what it looks like. And so I'm, I'm not a stranger to food plots. I'll show you a picture. I've got a two acre White Tail Institute Imperial Clo uh, Clover that I put in some years ago. I maintained that for about four years, but it's a lot of work, okay? It's a lot of work to do that. So I've just done some little plots like this this year to try it out the secret spot and it really worked great and you can see it's in the year it's not over browsed but I've had plenty of deer in here all year all right guys I'm gonna show you what's going on with uh, Whitetail Institute's secret spot this year I do have some experience with food plots and I'll just give you this one tip well some facts about it okay they ain't cheap you think the seeds expensive I'm telling you you're wasting your money if you don't put the fertilizer and the lime down with it it's really important they always tell you how the pH and you might think they're just trying to get the money out of you, but basically it's kind of like the way I look at it, it's like, you know, if you get a milkshake and you're taking one of those uh, little stir straws and you try to suck that milkshake up with that, you ain't gonna get much. But if you put a big old straw in there, you'll be able to suck that milkshake. And that's kind of how this fertilizer or the pH is. Once the pH is good, the, the, the nutrients can suck up into the plants better and grow better. So the thing about food plots is, I don't care what anybody says, they take a lot of work. It's been really hot this year. So I'm just gonna, Try the secret spot out, it's late already. Archer season's already started, it is so hot. Muzzler is supposed to start October 1st and then we'll have uh, rifle season come in, uh, I think the 10th or 11th of October here. So this is late, but it has been hot. This, this last week it's been hitting in the 90s every day. And so last week I just busted up some ground. I'm gonna put three different locations of secret spot in and just kind of journal this and see how it goes. I am putting uh, a lot of lime and fertilizer in. You know, lime I should have put, already put in the ground. You know, I'm doing what I can. So we're gonna give it a go. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing and we'll uh, look at these plots as, as we go throughout the season. This is uh, tour 28th, I'm sweating like crazy. Probably about 90 degrees, 86 degrees, probably 86 to 90. So I'm not even out yet, real good. I got my lime down, I got my fertilizer down. All I've used to here is a middle buster to bust this up. That's all I've got to use for a small thing like this. So uh, I busted with a middle buster. Now I'm gonna take my tiller my garden tiller with a tractor and just kind of go ahead and till all the lime and fertilizer on the ground. And then we'll come in and put the seed on top. Okay, this is the one of the secret spot places that I planted. Just uh, kind of gave it a rough till and uh, put the seed in the ground on this power line here. When I put, when I did the first video, it was around the, around the 1st of October, I believe, but we didn't get any rain at all for the next, uh, or just like it was the week before, end of October, we didn't get any rain at all we had temps drop and go up to the uh, mid 90s last week of September and no rain. So I actually put the seed down until around August 5th or 6th. And it's the 24th today. And this is what I've got going on right now. So just thought I'd kind of show you what we got. All right, here's another secret spot plot. Like I said, same thing. Plant the same time as the one I just showed you. So it's coming up. It's looking all right. So we'll see how it does, but just want to kind of give you a look at that, see where we're at here, October 24th. And again, uh, probably didn't get the seed in the ground until around the 10th or 11th, if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, and we finally got some rain, so. Okay, here's the other spot, a secret spot. This is the first one I did at the bottom of the field. You know, this wasn't a really good put together food plot, but as you can see, it came up pretty good. The deer have been in here pretty regular. So, uh, in fact, we're going to hunt this spot tonight and bring her back out here. Let's see if she can get one of the bucks coming out here. Okay, so basically November 3rd, we're pretty much in the peak rut, if you will, in South Carolina. Um, you know, the rut's not well defined here, but, but November, that first week of November is always a good week. So uh, anyway, we're sitting down here trying to get Becca her first buck, her first deer actually. And uh, the does come right in, right into the secret spot. So they've been feeding on it pretty regularly. And then finally, uh, after sitting watching these does for a good half hour, just, just feeding on the secret spot, we finally got some activity where the buck uh, starts to come in but uh, there's a whole video on that it's Becca's first deer so you can check that out I'll put a link up for you but uh, you can watch the, the rest of the hunt there and the details on that at that link okay it's November 23rd 
And this is the first secret spot patch that I planted. Quite honestly, I didn't think it was going to go so well, uh, just because I really didn't have a lot of real good way to prepare the land to it. Well, I didn't prepare the land well enough. It's popped up, the deer are using it. And here it is, I think November 23rd. So it's looking good. This is the second secret spot patch that I put in. This one I felt like the ground prepared a little better, but deer using this too, and it's November 23rd. This is spot number three on the creek bottom, and that does look like a pretty plot. I have not hunted this at all. I think I'm gonna hunt this tonight. Here's the creek bottom one, December 18th. According to the cameras, deer in here every night. Some daytime sightings. Food plots looking good. I never did add the additional fertilizer on these plots. Still looking good though. So it's December 27th. Just a few days left during deer season. I'm out here on the ground on location number one. And I haven't seen these turkeys, I haven't seen very many turkeys at all this year. And I, I haven't had much on my property the past year or so. But I'm sitting there and these guys come in and they come into that secret spot and they were there for 45 minutes. And once they got in the secret spot, they never left the secret spot. They just kept going back and forth, back and forth. So apparently the turkeys love that. If you got a fall season for turkey, um, secret spot might be a good option there as well. But uh, I mean, they just came in. They didn't stop until they got into the secret spot and they just started feeding there for a good 45 minutes. It's pretty crazy. So here is just a sampling of deer camera shots that we took across the food plots. All these pictures came from either location one, two, or three with deer in the food plots, both daytime and nighttime pictures. So we had a lot of activity on the food plots. This is just a sampling of the pictures that I just kind of grabbed randomly throw in here and they're spread out over the length of the season also to show you the deer consistently fed on these food plots throughout the season. So overall I think it's a secret spot is, a, is an effective uh, kill plot if you will. It draws the deer in. It's also providing them ample nutrition and everything for the season but um, at the same time it does draw the deer in and they start to feed on it pretty regularly. So as you can see from the pics, uh, the proof's in the pudding. So I'll probably use secret spot again next year and I may try some other things as well. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you next time.